Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another random game day, and today's game is called Seize the Clay. Now, this is basically a pottery crafting game where you have to craft orders of pottery to look like as best you can the order that you've received. Now, I have no experience making pottery whatsoever, but I've seen videos of it, and it seems so satisfying to shape and design the pottery. So that's what we're going to be doing in this game here, and this is a free game that is also browser-based, so you don't even have to download anything to play it. So let's go ahead and check it out. All right, here we go. Day number one. Our adventure as a poor potter begins. We must make pots to survive. Choose an order, select your material, create and paint your pot. You will need to bake it in the oven before putting it on the display stand. My current balance is $200. We will need to make around $653 to survive. Man, I wish my monthly expenses were only $653. That'd make this whole life thing a lot easier. All right. So, oh, I guess this is us. Okay. So, orders. Are these our orders? Okay. So, we click to go. Oh, okay. It looks like these are orders. So let's start with something easy looking. I'm going to go with this looks like the easiest one to me. So then I guess we got to go over and start crafting it. Oh, yeah. Here it is up here. I guess I'll choose the red. And then I got to I assume I go over here to craft it. Ah, yes. Here we go. All right. I, I have no idea what I've never done this before. Um, whoa, whoa. <laughs> That's kind of cool. Oh, and there's a next button. So I'm assuming that I have to I have to pick the starting width. So it looks like I should start a little bit wider for the top, and then I have to carve in down from the bottom. Okay, next. Oh boy. Oh. Okay, I think I know what's gonna happen now. Here comes the part where we need some precision. Alright. Okay. Okay, I see now. I see. I think. Did I go a little bit too thin there? I hope I didn't go a little bit too thin. Oh, I'm doing so bad. Uh, uh, hey, 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 I think I saved it. I think I saved it. I can't get to the very bottom, though. Is that close enough? I think that might be close enough. Okay, now we just need to round out these. Oh, I can't go up any more than that. Uh-oh. Uh oh You know what? Finish. It was my first attempt. It's my first attempt. Give me a break, okay? I'm learning how the game works. Okay, so now we need colors. Oh, okay. So we need a dark blue. We don't have a dark blue. How do we how do we get a dark blue? Well, I'm just gonna I'm gonna choose the blue. Do I have the blue chosen? Oh, that is dark blue. Okay. Okay. Nice and gentle. Not too bad. And then we just gotta paint the bottom like this. There we go. All right, perfect. And then what? Do we got to go put it? Oh, we got to bake it. Yeah, yeah, we got to bake it. All right. Um, pots must be at least 50% baked. All right, so do we put it all the way up? I'm just going to put it all the way up. Max degrees. Okay, temperature must be zero degrees. Oh, what? Why is the temperature must be zero degrees? Perfect. Perfect. Take it out. Take it out. Oh, I have to be zero degrees in order to take it out. Of course. Finish. All right. I, don't, I think I got lucky with that. I had no idea what I was doing, but I think we're okay now. All right. There we go. I mean, it wasn't, it's not the best replication of the order that we got, but it's a learning experience. Okay. So let's take on something a little bit more complex. Um, man, look at those. That one looks really weird. This one has some smooth curves. You know what? These ones are hard to see against the white backdrop, but I'm going to try anyway. All right, let's go over here. We're definitely going to need some white. All right, let's get on to the... I don't even know what this thing is called. All right, so it looks like... I, I can't see the details of it. I wish there was like an outline of it or something, but it looks like there's a little bit of a curve right there. And this is very wide. I'm going to keep it just like that. Maybe slightly... Slightly higher. There we go. So I think all I need to do is a little bit of this. I think I went a little bit too high, but I'm going to keep it like that. All right, there we go. I hope I did that right. All right, finish. 
Now we just gotta paint this bad boy up. Oh, how do we get that color? Well, last time this blue was a lot different than I thought it was. So maybe it's just this. Yeah, that's close enough, right? All right. So we give it a little bit of a stripe right there. All right. So now we need to give it some circles. There we go. A little bit bigger as we get closer. There we go. And then just like that. Look at that. Perfect. All right. Finish. Now, the question is, how do we... I guess once we make three orders and fill those tables up, then we'll probably be able to sell and we can see how we've done. And let's turn it back down. Perfect. I think this is all timing based. All right. Finish. Here we go. Let's go put this one on display. And I think we got one more left. And do we go out that door or do people come in that door? I'm assuming people come in that door. All right. Which one are we going to take on next? Let's take on the hardest one. I mean, that one's the hardest for painting, obviously. This one, I think, is the hardest for shape. And actually, painting is pretty difficult, too. Let's do this one. I think we're ready. We have practiced with two designs. So now it is time to take on our most difficult task. All right, so this one is somewhat tall. Not too tall. All right, this is where things are going to get a little bit interesting. All right, let's see what we can do here. All right, in out like to a weird edge and then we just kind of like poke it in right there and then we got to go up and do a nice bigger curve inwards curve out and then up is that it that looks okay to me i mean i think maybe if anything this should not come out as far uh like that. I'm ruining it. Oh, no. I think we did okay. You know, I'm just going to push this in a little bit. And push this in just a little bit. I'm trying not to ruin it. All right. I think... Oh, that looks better. That looks better. I think that was good. All right. Now the painting part. Okay. So we definitely need blue. Like just all along the bottom. Why is it dark? Don't be dark. No, no, no. Blue with a little bit of white. Is that... Oh, that works. That works. We can mix colors. Okay. And... I wish I didn't have that blue right there. Here we go. Alright. I think that looks pretty good there. And then we need to rinse off. And then we get the white. And now... We should have white. Excellent. All right, and it's just kind of like cloudy bumps. That That's my interpretation right there. Cloudy bumps. That's not bumps at all. That's just a straight line. What have I done? Can I erase if I go in here and then... No, no, you can't erase. No going back. Finish. Finished product. I think it looks pretty good. All right, so now that we have three, all the tables are filled. Are we going to get some buyers? How do we put this one down? Is it not... Oh, I didn't bake it. I'm stupid. Almost forgot the key element. Uh oh, I think I may. Oh, no, I overbaked it. I didn't react in time. Oh, we have an overbaked one. I don't know how I even got the first two to be perfect. That was a really fine window. All right, so now somebody want an overbaked thing. There we go. Okay. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Moment of truth. What happens? What happens here? I am eager to find out. Oh, order report. 39 out of how many a hundred so order one our color was 39 i'm assuming it's out of a hundred our order shape is 59 out of a hundred so failing in both cases order value 1517 are you serious 1500 dollars for that couple of minutes of work it looks like the baking is the most important thing because this one was like pretty much similar. Not too bad, but it was over baked. So it goes from like 1500 down to 954. Is that how much I made? Did I really make like over almost 4,000 this month? Pot sales, 3928. Food and cost, 853. Bank balance, 3,275. Yeah, I have made enough money to survive another day. I've made enough money to survive another couple of months. Are you kidding me? My food and cost is only $853. 
Am I living with my parents in the basement? What is this? Okay, day two. My pottery adventure continues. Another day, another pot. Let's keep making pots to survive as long as we can. My current balance is 300, 3,275. I will need to make another 100 to survive. What, another 100 on top of this, you mean? Or do I just need 100 total? Man, with how expensive this pottery stuff is, I could mess up everything and still make five times that amount. So I think we've gotten a good idea about how the game goes. So I just want to do a quick experiment here. I want to just make everything wrong and see how much we make. I'm going to underbake things. I'm going to overbake things. And I just want to see what happens. So I'm going to make this out of white clay because we can. And I'm just going to make my own... Whatever I get inspired to make, I'm just going to make it. And I'm going to ignore this completely. And I'm going to do that with everything. And I want to see how much money we make. Will we make at least $100? Okay, this one's just not going to have a bottom. Actually, you know what? <laughs> there we go. Look at this. I'm a fan of this right here. This is actually really cool looking. All right. All right. Finish. Oh, look at it. It's like a little table. It's a little table. Okay, let's mix all the colors together. I'm just going to click on one of everything. Let's see what that gets us. Noth oh, oh, there we go. It gets us black pretty much. Okay, so let's go ahead and clear that out. Let's do white and blue. And that gets us blue. Let's add some yellow in there. That gets us some brown. Uh, let's do red and yellow. There we go. We got some orange. Let's add some blue into that and we get brown. All right, let's do blue and yellow. Oh, I did too many colors. Yellow and blue will get us some green. Add some black into there to get us darker green. Let's just do some standard red and then let's just do some standard yellow on the bottom. All right, perfect. I think it looks beautiful. How much would you spend on this? Especially if it's only 50% baked. There we go. Finished. I don't know who ordered this, but I think they're going to be pleasantly surprised with what they got versus what they paid for. All right, let's see what else we can completely botch here. All right, let's go with, I don't even know what this is. It's hard to see the white on white. So we're just gonna make it red. All right, oh, I can see it a little bit better now. So it looks like it's shaped like that. So we're gonna go, like, we're gonna keep it as flat as possible, just like this. And then we are gonna go, oh, oh, that's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, okay, and then we're gonna do that. That looks really interesting. And then we're gonna do that. Look at that one. I like that one a lot. Okay, so now we gotta paint this thing up. So we're gonna go with white. Let's just paint white right down the middle like that. And we're gonna make this completely asymmetrical. So now we're gonna do green on this side. There we go, nice and green. Uh, we're gonna do some yellow over here. And then we're gonna do some blue over here, some dark blue apparently. And then purple over there. I don't know what we're doing anymore. I'm just clicking things. There we go, perfect. Love it, finish. Let's just completely overbake this one. I'm gonna go maximum. I'm just not gonna turn this thing down until this reaches full meter. I don't know how long this is going to take, but I just want to see what it says. Is it overbaked? Is it just completely destroyed? What happens? Cracked. Oh, this did not take a lot. It's done. Does the... I wonder if the thickness of it, like the, the material, if it actually determines how far this meter goes. Because this got to perfect and overcooked really, really quick that time. But I feel like the first one didn't do that. All right, so we'll put that one out for sale. See, I feel like we're getting into some really, really modern art here. Like this stuff should be worth like millions. All right, so let's go with this one. This is a blue one and uh, we'll use the red clay. Okay, I'm gonna go with, uh, I'm gonna go with middle here. We're gonna go with like a medium size this time. All right, and let's just do there we go. I think that looks pretty good. What do you guys think? 10 out of 10? 100 out of 100? Okay, so now uh, we're just going to paint the whole thing. Oh, look at the sp spl splotchy black. I love it. Splotchy. I don't know why I didn't think of that before. And then we'll just put like one white dot right, right there. Perfect. 
I'm loving this. This really gets the creative juices flowing, you know? And you know what? This one, this one I'm going to do perfect. Absolutely perfect. Acceptable. Okay, go down, go down, go down. I don't know when perfect's going to be. I don't know when perfect's going to be. I want to do this one perfect. This is my crowning achievement. I thought the other one was, but no, this one is my crowning achievement. Mostly, mostly because... Oh, no, 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 no. Don't overbake. Don't overbake. Four, three, two. Oh, there we go. All right, crowning achievement right here. This one is the $5,000 big sell. All right, guys. Come on into the shop. Give me your accolades. All the compliments. I know you've ordered one thing. You had expected. What? Look at that. Order number three. The perfect one. 50. I told you guys that was going to be our crowning achievement. That was our best one. What is with the... I completely ignored everything when it comes to color and shape. We got 85 on the shape of order one. That was our pencil table thing. 87 on order two. How does this work? You know, I told you. I, I was completely right. They, they did order one thing, but I blew their expectations out of the water. They liked what I made better because I put my heart into it. I made it with love and passion, and that's really what matters when it comes to art. It doesn't matter whether it looks good or whether it's what they even wanted. As long as you put your passion into it, they will spend $1,600 on it. <laughs> All right, I am switching careers. I'm going to be Pottery Man from now on. So let me know what you guys thought of this game, and if you go ahead and try it, it's completely free. I'll leave a link down in the description. Uh, you could just play it in your browser without downloading anything. Let me know if you got better than 1566 for an order value, because I think that's the best that I got. I don't, I forget what the first one that I got was, but it was around 1500 as well. And this was, I think, the worst that I got. So, hey, you win some, you lose some. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see other random games, then go ahead and go through this playlist right here. It's got a list of everything I played for the first time ever including this game right here. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye!